Hey, good morning, folks. Lester here. Uh, it's about 10 a.m. this morning, and I've waited a little bit long to come out and get a lot of work done. I did stop at the feed store and got feed uh, to resupply of the, uh, the cows and stuff with their grains. I'm going to do some tractor work, and man, I was going to try to set some posts today. I'm going to tell you all right now, uh, in this heat and the time of day that I'm working, take a good look now because this is not going to last long. Uh, cute story. I did bring some clothes. I brought a lot of extra undies, a lot of extra shorts, a lot of extra shirts, and even some extra hats that I'm going to leave over here because uh, you all saw the last incident where I was forced to work all day uh, with a, let's just say with no bottom to my pants. That ain't gonna happen again. Now, I, I'm still gonna keep busting out pants. I promise you, I am gonna bust out some pants. And anyone that sweats a lot, uh, any farmer, rancher, or any type of guy or girl who uh, sweats a lot knows that over time that sweat can corrode the stitching in your britches. <laughs> the stitching in your britches. Well, I'm gonna call the video that. And uh, they will, at some point, when you put enough wear and tear on them, begin to break down on you. Maybe I just buy cheap pants and shorts. I don't know. Anyway, you guys come along with me today. Let's do some uh, farm chores and uh, have a little fun while we're at it. So I'm going to take care of the easy stuff first before I get too sloppy and dirty. And it's been pretty dry. And Jamie's garden looks like it's starting to dry up a little bit. So since she won't be able to come out for the next couple of days because of her work schedule, I'm gonna go ahead and water this thing down for her. So what I'm gonna do is put a, uh, just a kind of a light spray across the top. And then I'll come back and I'll put the soaker hose on it. I think that the soaker hose will do a whole lot more than what this spray down across the top will. And there might be a right and a wrong way to water a garden. More than likely, I'm doing it the wrong way. My dad would always say, you never water a garden in the heat of the day because you end up burning things up. I don't know if that's true or not. Because to me, it seems like If you're putting soil or you're putting water and moisture into the soil, I mean, it's not going to boil. You're not going to start boiling. The water's not going to boil the soil. It's not going to boil your roots. What's going to happen is I, I think that the biggest thing is a lot of this water is going to evaporate before it has a chance to seep into the soil. That's why I'm going to do kind of a light spray down, to, you know, and then I'll put the soaker hose on. The soaker hose runs underneath the soil a couple of inches or so and it runs around it winds around and around just kind of coil itself all around the garden so for sure the roots will get what they need so everyone knows that when i work in the pasture i have to take allergy pills <laughs> so while i'm waiting for my allergy pills to kick in I'm gonna walk over here and get the tractor and do a couple of tractor jobs first. And do a little tractor. A little tractor. That's what Jason at Carl Hill calls it, a little tractor. And Les is gonna do a little tractor. Uh, look at that. I've been, I have looked everywhere for this shirt. It's one of my favorite shirts. I wear it all the time and I could not find it anywhere. And here it is on the tractor all rolled up in a ball. Darn it. All right, so I'm gonna put that where I will not forget it. This area here has become my burn pile. That's where I push all the limbs up together. And where I make an occasional burn fire. Oh, a lot of dirt in that one. All right, that right there was my tractor and the burn pile ready for the next burn. That was fun. Andy. Do y'all hear that? Do y'all hear that? That is the sound of peace and quiet with no goats anywhere in sight. None. 
Do you want to know why? Because my lovely neighbor, Miss Pat, she's calling the ghosts down and giving them treats daily. And so whenever they hear her four-wheeler crank up, they all go running. And that means I get some nice and some nice time to work in peace. And what do I do? End up making a video. You know, Miss Pat also feeds the horses and donkeys and cows. That's a good neighbor. I'm gonna be real quiet so the goats don't come back. Well, that is another 10 post in the ground. I am gonna walk to the corner and spin everything around and show you exactly how this thing's starting to shape up. And uh, I'll tell you what, you can't, I, could, I have more post and more concrete, but I have no more energy. You have no more strength left after, you, you know, so much digging, and moving of concrete. Let me flip this thing around a little bit. Show you. So now we're starting the track up back across the hill to the driveway. This is the corner where we're gonna have a cross fence. So in saying so, since we already know we're going to need at least two pastures, one for Debbie, one for Tina, car will go back and forth. All of this over here will be, let's just say Tina's. All this will be Tina's. All of this. We will have us a cross fence I would say somewhere about halfway point. I would think maybe maybe right through here. It, looks like it might be pretty easy digging. It's not really halfway yet, but it's easy digging. I don't see a whole lot of trees in the way. We'll have a cross fence coming here towards me. And all of this over here will be for, let's just say Debbie or Tina, whatever, whoever. Then we'll have a, a gate that will cross over to this, this section over here, which will be for our other female ostrich. Now, if you're wondering about any kind of a cover, I already talked to you guys about a doggy door system that the goats will have to go in the side of here. The goats will be able to doggy door themselves into any pasture, but the ostriches are too big to be able to get out. And so that's what we're doing so far. We may have a little bit of a loafing shed, but uh, you guys already know that the ostrich family do not like to go into underneath things. That sort of scares them. And so that having a loafing shed for a uh, shelter is not a biggest priority for the ostrich family because they'll probably never use it anyway. We will have water troughs in each pasture, paddock. And like I said, the goats will be able to use their doggy door system to go in and out of all the pastures. They'll be able to come into their sleeping quarters at night and have the protection of the ostriches from any types of predators all right thank you guys for watching and uh that was another fencing video but hopefully you were entertained by other things so it wasn't quite as boring as a typical fencing video looks like somebody knows that the new shipment of feed has arrived yes i got it baby oh boy don't let your troubles fester Come watch Longhorn Lester <laughs> Yeah, something like that